frick is going on? What are they doing? Hand warmer? Oh, what's that in the background? That's a Luigi. That is, that's Stu Baker. Oh, that's a Luigi and a wolf. What's going on? Oh, Luigi's popping him. Get him, Luigi. I don't know. I can't tell anymore. <laughs> oh, Luigi slapped him. He, he did. The, he gave him the, the chopperoo. I know that that animation anywhere. Oh, what is happening? Is that a moonwalk? Or just run forward, wave dash back? Oh, Luigi died. Dang it. Ah, oh, well, that's the last thing. All right. Arsenal's great. We'll see how they start. Oh, he just tried to raw pivot grab. Okay, so he got the forward throw on him. He could have ran up and forward threw him again, but he just opted for down tilt to keep the yeah. spacing. That's fair. Oh, don't, don't do that. It's a nice grab in neutral. He should up throw more. Yeah. He's only been doing what? Down throw? And down throw, forward throw. Up, yeah, forward throw. He just yeah. tries to do like down throw, forward smash a lot. Yeah, he definitely needs to be doing up throw right now. Because mm -hmm. up throw against Fox is definitely, I would say, the best strongest throw against him, for mm -hmm. sure. Overall, yeah. There are, there are situations where down throw is kind of need to get that gimp. Oh. Or that whatever. This but. is another reason why this stage can be really good for Fox. It's just, you know, if he hits him once, he can get him all the way up, which on other stages isn't really Yeah, it's not as true. Yeah. It's not as easy, and you can't really kill Mark that early off the top on most stages, but mm -hmm. on Battlefield, that was really solid. Yeah, right now, Gray's just fishing for grabs. Yeah, and Arsenal's either overshooting or just not giving him anything. Yeah. Arsenal's playing this really well right now. Counter? No. And Gray's gotten multiple grabs. He's just... Yeah. He's just not... He's not hitting hard enough. Yeah. He definitely... I think he probably could have already taken this game by now if his punish game was just... Yeah, his punish game was, like, stellar and he had been going for up throw. Yeah. Because he's definitely won enough neutral interactions. Mm-hmm. And it's not that just he's won them, but he's, like, he's gotten grabs, which is yeah. super important. And that, you should have just like forward smashed or got him back off stage or something. Oh there you my go. god, great comeback. Great, great, you got him with the skill. That's all with him. The skill. Ooh, rar, rar into nothing. Oh, that was actually kind of good. He's just gonna back. Oh my god, roll up. Oh my god. Come on, man. Ooh, good SDI, I think. I couldn't tell. I was paying too much attention. Please. <laughs> okay. So he had it multiple times. He could have rolled up and he could have taken it to the last stock. He needs to do be doing more jump back, late, short hop, fair. Yes. That's really good for zoning Fox out. Because mm -hmm. Fox doesn't have a direct way of beating it. He can't directly crouch cancel punish it. He can't whiff punish it, and he can't just like overshoot to beat it because it'll just block you out. He has to take the stage, which is still pretty good, but unless Fox proves to you that he's capable of doing that, the forwarder basically beats everything. Yeah. Mars forwarder is pretty good. All right. I Pseudo FD, this. this would be a good pick if he up through. Yes, you're right. <laughs> but forward I throw think, is I much better. <laughs> it's pretty good um, for the neutral because Fox having platforms to get out of the corner is actually pretty important. Do I? Oh, no. oh wait, he's freaking oh, slaying he's him right now. Down. Oh my god. He went for the. He should have gone for the Zane down air. Wait, what's the Zane down air? It's where you cancel? down air and then you edge cancel it. So if they uh, sweet spot pass it, you just grab the ledge. That was a that was a really questionable forward smash. That's him basically saying, "Get off of me." Yeah. Even though he's in the lead and he shouldn't be scared of Arsenal's right now. He's still playing like he's scared of Arsenal right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. There's no way. He needs to be zoning a lot more with forward air than down tilt. Good shield grab. Hype clutch shield grab. Alright, is he gonna get down? Gets down? Forward's way too far away. Up tilt. That sure. was the read of the century. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Uh, oh, yeah, there's no way. You're oh, that was actually really good. I'm surprised he made it on stage off of that. Pushes him off, doesn't get anything. Nice down throw again, forward throw. <laughs> Up throw is not in his vocabulary. It's, <laughs> they get him in chain grab in there. They get to kill him. Took him to FD, doesn't play FD Mark. Okay. Oh, big down smash. Roll to get center stage and then roll to say, no, I didn't deserve that. I'm going to go back to the ledge now. He has he, He's only got one of these counters off, and he's thrown a bunch. Yeah. This is a nice upward tilt from Justin Hampton. Yeah. All right. This is already looking a lot better than game one. Yeah, he started off really strong. By forward throw killing him. Maybe that's why he uses forward throw. He knows it just kills. <laughs> it works. <laughs> that's the mistake a lot of people make. They do something and it works once, and they're like, well, clearly it's good. Oh, the footstool. Justin's the only fox I know that footstools in his combo. Footstools are for babies. <laughs> combo like a real man and just up air a lot. Yeah, Justin is just uh, running in front of him, showing that he's not scared by just crouching in front of him, doing nothing. And then, yeah. Gray had multiple chances, got lots of grabs, up through zero times. Dude, could have won. Could have won. Killed him with forward throw, though. Yeah. More yeah. than I could say.